In this lecture, we will talk about parametrized tests. Well, what are those? If we look at our two uppercase example, the most basic example in our course until now, you will see that uh, we are testing for one uh, expected and one actual. Here we have the input, here we have the expected. But let's say that this method is a little more complex and we want to test for multiple use cases. One solution would be to just take this test, test right here in this describe, copy it, paste it and put a different expect. Like for example, I want to test the output of my string and I'm expecting here my string, something like this. And if I would want to test another use case, again, another test. Well, there's a much more straightforward solution from Jest and uh, they are called parameters at tests and we will call the each function. Let's see how this is working. Let's create a simple describe first. And uh, here, let's just put right here two upper case examples. Let's just uh, give this uh, description and let's put our tests right here. Well, we would just make a simple test right here or with, the, with an it. And instead of first putting our um, our description right here and then our implementation right here. This is a basic test. Let's add a new keyword right here in the link, a each keyword. And this each function will receive an array of arguments. Well, for each entry in this array, a test will be run. Well, let's make these arguments to this each test a func a object. And to make things very clear, let's just specify here input. And first of all, our first input, we want to test the input for A, B, C. And we want to have an expected. And our expected for this input is A, B, C. All right, let's just copy this uh, entry right here. We want to have another test for my string and the expected for this is my string my string like this very simple let's yet add yet another command def for example and def all right this for each entry in this array we will have a test that is run and the cool thing about this uh, just uh, functionality is that we can eat even specify this in the test description. For example, here we can specify input and let's just say here to upper case should be and then let's just specify our expected right here. Let's see how this is working until now and let's only run this. Run npm test. We didn't test it yet anything. Let's just see if our describe looks okay. And let's see how the description of these tests look like. They look very straightforward. And as you can see, you are saying that, hey, this ABC to uppercase should be ABC. You know, my string should be my string. Def should be DEF, something like this. Let's now use these entries inside our test. And to use them, we need to put them as arguments inside our callback. So here we should have an object that resembles this implementation. So here we need an input and an expected. Right here we have this input and the expected. Now we can write our tests. So here I'll say if const actual is our to uppercase and we are calling this input. All right. And now let's make the assertion. We are expecting that our actual to be our expected. Let's see if our tests work. Again, run npm test. And yes, our tests work very, very all right. As you can see, we saw in this lecture a way to reduce redundancy when we have a lot of 
use cases to test. We can use this each function in which we can pass different parameters to our tests and this way we can have much more meaningful tests and basically write a lot of functionality with much less code.